to Sky Academy! What is item reincarnation? <sighs> I wish I could run faster. What's up, Zombie Maiden? What's got you so gloomy? I've been picked to do the relay in this upcoming sports day. But I don't feel too confident. I see. Because you end up running that peculiar way zombie maidens always do. Yeah, I try to run fast, but I just end up hopping around. All right, I see what needs to be done. We'll spend next period discussing equipment in Disgaea. Uh, were you even listening? Have no fear. This class has hidden tips on how to become a faster runner. Really? Okay, I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. Open your books and let's get started. Okay. Equip items to strengthen your abilities and progress through battles. The items in games are always a selling point. I guess Disgaea is no different, huh? Right. Let's take this Maiko character, for instance. Rookie Maiko? Oh, that's so cute! Oh, have we found your favorite character? Right now, she has nothing equipped at all. As she is, she can only move four panels. I see. This is where it gets interesting. If we equip these slippers, they increase how far she can move. Slippers? And she can equip three pairs? And presto! Now she can move up to seven panels. With the increased range, she can get to those pesky far away enemies. Oh, this is definitely a useful feature. Yep, looks like you're starting to figure things out. Inside items, there are item worlds. Clear these randomly generated dungeons to further improve an item's strength. <laughs> Make sure to remember this. Thanks for mentioning that, Mr. Principal. Just come in already. Furthermore, the stronger the item, the stronger the enemies in its item world. If you enter unprepared, You'll be slaughtered! <laughs> he can barely control himself at this point. Okay, let's keep going. Next page. Now we're getting into a new Disgaea 7 feature. Let's talk about item reincarnation. Item reincarnation? Like they evolve or something? Close, but not quite. Remember those slippers that improve the distance you can cover? Well, what if those same slippers could also boost your attack and defense capabilities as well? Wouldn't that be useful? What? That's something you can actually do? You sure can, with item reincarnation! Take this belt, which boosts attack strength. Reincarnate it into a powerful spear and the spear retains the ability to boost attacks! So you can keep just the good points of previous items! That's awesome! And you can reincarnate an item as many times as you like. So you can do things like this. Bam! Look at these normal glasses. You want to improve your move distance, so you reincarnate them as shoes. Now these shoes improve accuracy too, but then you want to create a weapon as well. So you reincarnate the shoes into a spear, which boosts both accuracy and how far you can move. But now you want to use a sword. Keep reincarnating, and suddenly you've got a sword that boosts accuracy and how far you can move. And that can be used with spear techniques. This definitely puts a new spin on anything goes, that's for sure. By the way, if you reincarnate this edible chocolate item and make a cool sword, you get a sword that can be eaten! A sword made of chocolate? A choco sword? 
it's a sword, so it has lethal strike capabilities, and it retains the chocolate's characteristics, making it edible! So it's like sword swallowing? And it restores HP? Defy common sense to make combinations that result in the ultimate evil item! Exactly, Zombie Maiden! By repeatedly reincarnating an item, you can create your own unique item! That's Disgaea! Its new systems are like nothing you've seen before! Yeah! And by the way, Mr. Ranger, how does that teach me to run faster? You still don't get it? Equip an amazing item, and you'll get amazing results! So, in your case, you need amazing sneakers to run faster! But, Mr. Ranger! That's just how games work! The real world's totally different! Yeah! To be continued! Disgaea 7, Vows of the Virtuous. Coming to Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, and PC. October 3rd, 2023.